So many times we promote the individual. Oh, LeBron, Kobe Bryant, uh, Kevin Durant. But then we leave out something that's really unique and special, and that's team and team basketball. I sat there and watched this team carve the Clippers up by playing basic, fundamental basketball, and it was beautiful to watch. It, it reminded me of my era, the way we used to play the Celtics, just smart and great basketball. And I'm happy that we are seeing it in America. You need to appreciate the San Antonio Spurs, and this team well coached, and, and I'm just, Sometimes you're lost for words. All you need to do is just watch this team and they'll say it all. If you're a purist about the game of basketball, you watch them play. If you want the glitz and glamour and all the dunks, you maybe focus in on another team. And it's a credit to the organization, the ownership, uh, R.C. Buford, Pop and his staff, and the players. Everybody's in the same circle and they believe in it. Uh, they're not all seeking a lot of glamour and everything else. It's it's a, it's a great way to play the game. The, the players that I'm uh, having the privilege to coach have been incredible. And the fact that they allow me to coach them the way I coach them uh, surprises me almost on a daily basis. Uh, it's a great group of people who, I always say, have gotten over themselves. Uh, they come to practice, they play the game, we win, we lose. Uh, we go home, and they do it wonderfully. And Timmy is the the guy that's in charge of all that. You know, he sets the tone on the floor for our players, and uh, our success. Uh, although all of us have a part of it here, uh, those are the guys that get it done, and they're the most important part of what we do. And they've done it wonderfully. And as I said, uh, win or lose, uh, they do it with class, and they do it the right way. and dicing the heat up offensively. Just terrific ball movement, but more importantly, it's the body movement. The Spurs, go, they don't get knuckleheads. They don't get clowns. Yeah. They don't get guys with huge egos. They get guys who have to do what they're told to do. And you put it all together, and you're right. It's, it's like, wow, how come people can't appreciate this? Yeah. When you see the Spurs play, they've been together a long time. They know exactly what Coach Popovich wants. They have great spacing, but their execution is second to none. And one thing you learn, you can't outrun the basketball. And San Antonio is great about, I have a shot, but you have a better shot. They break you down with their passes. The San Antonio Spurs, they do what they do. They're going to move the ball. They're going to take the high percentage shot. Pop is going to call the play. They're going to execute the play. They're going to set picks. They're going to do all the little things, and they're going to win. Nicolo swings it. Here's Corey Joseph. The selfish basketball. How about this? That was like watching the Hulk right there. In the 1997 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Tim Duncan from Wake Forest University. Seventh selection in the 1999 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Emmanuel Ginobili from Argentina. With the 28th pick in the 2001 Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Tony Parker of Racing Club Paris, France. Picture perfect. Oh, 
Timmy for the win.